What is up my fellow 3D printing nerds? Today, we're gonna take a look at one of my personal favorite products from TH3D Studios, the Textured Flex Plate 2. My name is Alex, and you're watching Modified 3D. Now the Flex Plate 2 is a bed solution from TH3D that I absolutely love. It comes in two different styles, the smooth and the textured. I got the smooth one over here on my Ender 3 Pro. You can kind of see the difference just real quick at a glance here, how the smooth one is just a smooth piece of PEI and the textured's got these nice raised bumps all over it. Today, we're gonna focus on the textured plate. Before we get started, make sure to smash that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the latest and greatest content like the review of the smooth plate back there that's gonna be coming up soon. Now there's a few benefits to the TH3D textured flex plate that the stock build options from Creality do not give you. The stock build options are gonna be the CMAG flexible plate, which is just this really loose piece of basically uh, rubber. I don't, I don't really know, um, but this stuff, it, it works okay. Bed adhesion is good-ish. Uh, a lot of people have issues with it, and uh, it definitely promotes warping because it's going to flex to your bed. This is trash. The next step up from Creality is gonna be their carbon silicone infused tempered glass plate. Now this is gonna give you a little bit better bed adhesion because we have at least a little bit of grip on there, but it's still not that much. The problem with this though is prints can actually get stuck to it pretty easily and you can't flex it off. So you're just jamming your you know, pliers or your scraper, whatever you got, trying to get your print off and then either your print breaks or your bed breaks. So this, this is also trash. Personally, I only use the TH3D flex plates on my 3D printers. Whether it be the textured or smooth, basically is dependent on what I'm trying to print. But the benefits of the TH3D plate over any of those Creality options are gonna be even more increased bed adhesion, so your prints are gonna stick phenomenally every single time given that your Z offset is correctly set. And the textured surface leaves behind a really cool surface. Um, I used this flex plate on my runout sensor case when I was printing that. And as you can see, it leaves this really nice finish to it. Um, it's gonna be personal preference whether you like that or not, which is why TH3D offers both the textured and smooth options. Now, the best thing to this is gonna be how easy it is to remove any print from it. Simply flex the plate and your print's gonna pop right on off every single time. No more jamming your scraper in it, digging into your bed or digging into your print trying to get it to pop off. Now the size that I have is gonna be the 235 by 235 millimeter option and that's gonna be a direct replacement to the stock bed size. TH3D supplies a shitload of different sizes to pick from. They have options with corner cutouts, huge sizes to, pit, to fit your CR10s, uh, larger printers like that. And they also have smaller options to fit stuff like the Wayne Hall i3 or the Maker Select V2s. They also sell the flex plate in a kit with a magnetic base if your printer doesn't already have a magnet. I was lucky enough that both of our Creality printers have magnetic bases, but for instance, the printer that I have coming sometime mid to late next week, hopefully, doesn't come with one. So if yours is like that, then TH3D's got you covered as well. Did I say new printer? <laughs> yeah, we got something really, really cool coming in the next few days, hopefully. I can't wait, I'm so excited to show you guys all about this. But, write in the comments what you think it is, and if anyone guesses it correctly before I post the unboxing video, you're gonna win yourself a Creality All Metal Extruder upgrade for a Ender 5. Anyways, there really isn't much more to this thing. It's pretty simple, as you can see. Prints stick to it phenomenally, and I've never had a bad adhesion once I have my Z offset correctly set. Also, TH3D sells what's called the Easy Mat for even better bed adhesion. I've got one stuck to the back of this texture plate, as you can see here. 
I'll have a link in the description where you can get this and make sure to keep an eye out for a review coming up soon. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, put it down below and don't forget to put in what you think I'm gonna be getting in the mail for my new printer coming in the next few days. That way you can get yourself a chance to win that all metal extruder upgrade for your Ender 5. I'll have some more details in the description below all of the links with details on that giveaway. If you wanna see more content on how to modify your 3D printer, make sure to hit that subscribe button. My name's Alex, thank you for watching Modified 3D. Thank you.